Hey YouTube, um, today, um, tonight I'll be talking about, uh, one of my, uh, uh, favorite heroes of all time, the Assassins from the Assassin's Creed series. Now, why are these my favorite people, my favorite heroes of all time? Well, basically, it's, um, it sort of, uh, makes sense because I really like, uh, guys that climb and stuff sorry um i really like guys that climb and stuff um sorry about the light dang it um sorry uh so basically these are my top four assassins from assassin's creed of all time please enjoy the video and have a fantastic night um so, number four. Now, this is an interesting one. Number four is Edward Kenway. Why did I um, put him on my number four list? Well, technically, in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, he doesn't really carry a lot of weapons. But, he is one of the famous pirates of that uh, of that. Uh, series from Assassin's Creed 4. Um, he worked with Blackbeard, he worked with all the famous pirates in that particular game. Um, and he carries two swords, and he is a little bit slower than Connor Kenway, so that's why I'm just putting him on my number four list. He's not very fast. Um, so yeah, onward. Number three, Connor Kenway. Now, Connor was um, was one of the second uh, assassins that I ever played in, a, in an Assassin's Creed game. Edward Kenway was the third one, you know. Um, basically, Connor is a um, uh, comes with, from an Indian tribe. Um, he basically just hunts redcoats, and uh, and he's looking for this man called Charles Lee, and he's trying to stop him from any cost from reaching the Indian camp and destroying it. Um, well, actually, he destroyed it, but I'm not gonna leave you more not more further information about this guy. But he's pretty decent. He has a tomahawk, and he is very fast with it. He'll destroy anyone in his path if you have the cheat codes. And it's so awesome when you get the cheat codes in Assassin's Creed 3. Um, now, number two. Number, number two on the list. He's charming. He is a deferenze. He's Ezio Altitori de Firenze. He is a um, he is a he was a young assassin back in Assassin's Creed Two. He was an apprentice by Leonardo da Vinci, and Leonardo da Vinci uh, invented the two hidden blades. That's right, the two hidden blades. Now, from his timeline. It's sort of complicated because I haven't played Revelations yet. Um, I decided my gut feeling was trying to tell me with Revelations. I am going to save that game till later. I decided to get a new game called um, Minecraft, and it was all because of the multiplayer mode and the single player mode and all the dungeons and all that stuff. Anyway, forget Revelations for now. Revelations is kind of suck, suckish. It's in the top. It's, up, it's in, it's like at the bottom of the, of the top five, six uh, Assassin's Creed games on IGN. So, yeah, so Ezio is charming. He didn't really have a wife. I didn't really know that he didn't really have a, had a wife. I thought he did. 
but I didn't even know he had a sister back then. <laughs> so, I don't really know about Ezio that very much. But he led the Brotherhood. I know that. He led the Brotherhood to a new revolu the revolution um, in Rome in 1503. Um, yeah. In the Assassin's Creed franchise, franchise, not in world history. Um, in the game, yeah. He still is one of my one of the most famous heroes of all time. But the only flaw that I ever that I ever had about him is his costume design. I really hate the costume design on this guy. A lot of you like cape the side capes. I technically don't like the side capes because it's just. Uh, I know he's trying to feel fancy, but it's dumb. Um. Okay, number one. You already know what number one is. You guessed it. Altair. Now, Altair, I don't really know about, much about him, but his costume design is spot-on awesome. Um, his, uh, uh, he works well of being uh, a secret priest from, from time to time. It's just the way he walks, it walks is, like, cool, because he just, he can, like, blend into mages of crowd m mages of crowds like the old religion and all that stuff um his his camera design is very it's it's sort of good like when you assassinate a guard the camera view is just awesome on assassin's creed 1 um so yeah uh I really like Altair, and he made me become a mage in Skyrim. Isn't that amazing? He sort of did because of his costume design, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to be that guy. And now I can in Skyrim and in Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Um, sorry about the lighting. It's just... I'm terribly sorry. I just didn't know, know what to do with the lighting and all that stuff. I apologize for that matter. And so, yeah. Thank you for an, uh, an, an Assassin's Creed day on the Lincoln Williams Show. And I'll see you all, you all guys later. And I'll be back someday. Someday. <laughs>